For those of you who are not yet very familiar with the county government structure, this man sitting to my right is a member of cabinet of the president of Kisumu County, Governor Jack Raguma. With Kisumians in Nairobi, please let's welcome very warmly Engineer Vincent Kodero. Can we make Kisumu our Mauritius or our Mombasa? Please, the floor is yours. You My name is, as it has been said, uh, Vincent Kodera. I'm an engineer by profession. And as it is now, I work for the government of Kisumu County. My job, um, as in the government in, of Kisumu, is to prepare that environment where you will get value for your money, the money that you intend to invest in Kisumu. For me to do that, I would, make, I would want to make sure that when you invest in Kisumu, you are safe, you travel to your des destinations as fast as it is possible, you are able to invest freely, and the time between contact with me and real investment is as short as possible. My docket, as he says, is roads, public works, and fiscal planning. That is where you have your communication. That is where you have your issues with land. That is where you have your issues with houses. And that is where you have your issues with urban planning. In Kisumu right now, I want to tell you why it is the best place to invest in. One, Kisumu is a millennium city. And with all the millennium cities, there's a lot of goodie goodies that are going to come from the international community in terms of raising the level of life of the people that live in those areas. Two, Kisumu is at the center of the East and Central Africa. Actually, the population around, around Kisumu is over 200 million, as compared to Nairobi, that is basically just five. As opposed to Nairobi, that is basically having no place to expand, Kisumu has got all the space to expand to. I will give you a small example about tourism. If you want to invest in tourism, the best place to invest in is Kisumu. Why? It takes someone, a tourist from Europe, landing in Nairobi over six hours to reach the Maasai Mara. It takes the same tourists to land in Nairobi and reach the Serengeti 24 hours. It takes the same tourists to land in Nairobi and go to the DRC to watch the, the chimpanzees and the gorillas 36 hours. Now I want to tell you something. If the tourist lands in Kisumu by charter flight from Europe, it will take them two hours to the Maasai Mara. It will take them six hours to the Serengeti across Lake Victoria and by road to the Serengeti. It will take them three hours by charter flight from Kisumu International Airport to the DRC and Rwanda. So if you as an investor came to Kisumu and packaged something in the line of tourism in that sense, I'm sure you'll, make more lever you'll have more leverage than someone who is working that stuff from Nairobi. That is one. Now the population that we have, the hinterland of Kisumu, is so big that if you are able to open it, I know there are brains in this city. And the brain is good enough to be in the city in terms of investing and repatriating whatever you get from here back home. That is also very important. But at the end of the day, home is home. It is important for you to make sure that you are able to put your money at the sluice gate of what is coming to be one of the greatest cities in this continent. One of the things that we are putting in place for Kisumu and one of our biggest challenges is the hotel industry where we, have not, we don't have enough bed space in Kisumu. So we have decided, a part of the funds that we got from AFD, the French government, about 4 billion shillings, we have engaged a company from France, Nodalis International. And what they are doing is turn the city to face the lake. Those of you who have traveled, you must have realized that in every other place where there's a lake, it is an aesthetic value to have the city face the lake so that 
you begin to enjoy what is the lake and that is one of the biggest freshwater lakes in, in the world. So we want to clean up the whole mess that is against that lake. So, so that we turn this thing into a tourist kind of attraction. We would want to have four or five star hotels. If you start doing tourism in terms of casinos and, uh, and, and, and as water sport in the lake, you have a, lo a hell lot of everything ahead of you.